anticipating related to to maybe a major that that's not a direct correlation to a job that exists. Sure, sure. And this comes up a lot. I actually have a lot of parents who call me and say, I'm so concerned my my student is studying something and I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. A lot of it is about starting to identify, as I mentioned earlier, what are those skills that you think you're coming away from? And then if you are, I'll use a history major, and maybe you don't want to be a history teacher, but maybe you want to move into finance or you want to be in writing or you have to just think about what have I done or what am I, or can I do that would connect the dots for an employer. Uh, a colleague of mine recruits for a large firm and he said, I don't need to have you be a business major. I don't have to have all business majors for a business role. I just need you to show me how maybe you ran your own portfolio, even though you were a history major, or maybe you led a campus organization that demonstrated leadership. So think about experiences that you can also have while you're at school that enhance your academics. It's not just in the classroom. How can you, you know, be a part of something, organizations that just show your interest and how you can show you can add value to them in, in that field that you want to. It's, it's really more about getting your conversation and feeling confident about what you're saying about yourself that helps someone else understand how you can add value to them.